Hey, what's up guys? So today's video I'm going to show you guys how I created this look that you see here. And the first thing that you are going to see me do is to attempt to try a good, get a good shot of this NYX Jumbo Pencil and it's in Cucumber. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to apply it to my lid. And it is going to look a little sloppy, but we're going to go back in with the with your finger or my finger or whatever and we're gonna go ahead and spread that out and you'll see that in a minute there you go okay now we're gonna go in with a, a rounded brush that you'll see here and this is uh, from the brushes that I just purchased if you guys want to see my haul video I can link that below and also I'm going to use the uh, Club Tropicana palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to take that lime green you see there with a brush that I showed you guys. And that's my son in the background. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, apply that color over that uh, green, the, the jumbo pencil. And I didn't use any eyeshadow base for the rest of my lid. I just used it on the uh, green uh, for the green shadow because I really wanted that color to stand out and like I had mentioned in the haul video if you saw it I wanted to make a tutorial using the shadows and the brushes that I purchased and I really wanted to get my hands on this green shadow so that's why I used it and that what you saw there was a fluffy brush also from BH Cosmetics it says the blending brush and I'm going to go in here with brown script from MAC I've had the shadow for a long time and I really like it. It's very easy to blend. And there I'm trying to get a good shot, but just dab it onto your brush. And, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to go right over that green just with a back and forth motion. And it's going to, you're going to see about 30 seconds of this. So we're going to keep adding to that. And this shadow, I actually purchased it for uh, for my wedding. When I got married, uh, I did my own makeup. And one of my friends, uh, she's a makeup artist for MAC. Uh, she actually recommended this color. And it was it worked very well for me. And you can use it for a lot of looks. I use this color a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then we're still adding that there. And it's like a brown... Um, Kind of like a red brick color. It comes off more as a brown on camera, but it's like a brick color. And just keep adding more of that. And that is my son <laughs> in the background. He's playing on his walker. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, and I think I got that to where I want it. And now, I'm going to go in with the Subculture palette. And I'm going to use the, uh, the brush that comes in the palette using the side that's like for blending. And I'm going to use the color All Star. And I'm going to put that right over that uh, brown script that we just used. And blend it in. Oh, give me a second. So where were we? Uh, we're applying that uh, All Star color, right? And just blend it in. Blend it. And uh, the brush that comes in the subculture palette, it's very well, uh, it's very well. It's very good for blending. It blends well, that's what I wanted to say. And I think that's it for that. Now I'm going to take this lam Lancome. Uh, it's supposed to be like a crease brush, I think. Um, and I'm going to use the Rowdy shade from the same palette. 
and I'm going to put that right on the crease to get the like a smoky effect. And then we're going to go back in with, uh, right now you'll see with the other brush, so we can blend it. Mm -hmm. See, I'm going back in with that blending brush. And eventually I'll realize that my compact is in the frame. And actually, I don't know what you guys think, but I actually prefer to do the voiceovers than actually speaking while I'm filming because I normally film these videos like at 6 in the morning and I still sound like I'm asleep. So I think that I'm going to keep doing the voiceovers and I feel like I can explain better because when in the morning I sound like really sleepy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to blend that. And I think I'm deciding whether I blend it enough or not. And I think I am going to do it like that. Okay, and this is a like a rounded flat brush. And I'm going to go in with a this shimmery color that you see here for the highlight. And it's a, uh, the one on the very top left corner of the palette, if you have it. And there's that brush again. BH Cosmetics brush that I purchased. And, and I really uh, like the way the brushes worked. I mean, it's the first time I use them. And they did a pretty good job, so I would recommend them. And you get a ton of brushes for $14.99, but that's another video, so. Um, like I said, I'll link it below the, the haul video if you guys want to check it out. So see, I go back in with a, the brush to blend. And then, what am I going to do next? Oh yeah, I'm going to take a wipe here and I'm going to try to clean up that edge there. And then, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild waterproof liner. And I am going to add my eyeliner. And, <laughs> bless you. It was hard for me to try to get it in the frame. Hello. So there I go. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> My son wants me to pick him up. He's tired. Give me one second. Alrighty. So add your eyeliner. I'm really thinking about investing in like a brown liner because, uh, well, all of my looks, I use this eyeliner and, uh, I think a brown would come in handy also, so. Because some looks would look better with a lighter eyeliner, I think. But I'm so used to using this one all the time, so we'll see. You'll probably keep seeing this one for a while. <laughs> and I do have a video up on uh, how I do my wing liner, like just specifically for that, for the, the wing liner. So here I'm just going to... Do the wing there. Okay. Almost done with that. Then I'm going to use my CoverGirl um, eyeliner in black. And I line my waterline, but I don't like to film that because I think it's weird, like pulling on my uh, eye, and it's just weird. So I just edit that out. And then here using a, a little uh, detail, this is supposed to be like a lip brush, but I use it to add shadow uh, under my eye there. So there I'm using the brown script shadow. I think my daughter just dropped something over there. Anyway, so brown script under the eye. And then in the inner corner, I'm using the shadow that we used under the eyebrow. I'm using that in the inner corner. It's a little highlight. OK. 
Okay. And then I'm going to go in with that uh, rowdy shade. And I'm going to add it to the outside there to make it a little darker. Okay, almost done. And now I think the last step is the mascara, which I use the L'Oreal mascara. And I am not going to curl my lashes because I, I recently purchased a eyelash curler and it sucks. Like, it's just horrible. So I'm just going to go without it. But I find that if I put enough mascara, it will eventually kind of curl up a little bit. So, so you're going to see me doing that there, adding the mascara. And of course, you could do false lashes, but you all already know that I can't do that <laughs> because I can't. They just don't look well. So anyway, they don't look good on me. Um, that's the final look. I hope you guys like it. I hope you find it helpful. Like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.